Jonesy, the 2023 Caulfield Cup is an absolutely sensational edition. It's about six bucks the field. Who are you liking? Oh, too many things, mate. Honestly, I we went through it, and there's probably six or seven things where I genuinely think they can win the race. But you're not here for that, drifters, are you? You're here for the top four selections because I know each of you follow my tips religiously. Um, <laughs> Solcombe's going to be on top for me. I just think there's a bit of timing about this horse. And I think he's probably more of a 2,400-metre horse than a 3,200-metre horse. He's been fantastic this prep. Could argue this is the grand final. So Solcombe on top for me. Uh, Look, without a fight, I thought he was terrific in the Underwood Stakes. It was a perfect trial for the Caulfield Cup, and this has been the grand final all along. Um, He's drawn well too, so... He's going to be there or thereabouts. So I'd be shocked if he doesn't finish in the first four. Uh, going overseas for my third pick, and that's Valiant King. I love a Northern Hemisphere three-year-old. Uh, this guy is so attractive. Um, it just makes me a little bit nervous inside for some, <laughs> odd, for some odd reason. Uh, so he's in my numbers um, for sure. And then who you mal? I thought he was terrific in the Hill Stakes. Wait for age over 900 metres. We know he can get out to 2,400 metres from his Epsom Derby second over in the UK. Big weight swing on another key horse in this race, Montefilio. So 59 kilos in the hill stakes for Huya Mal. He's got 53 here. So he'll sit in the first third. He'll be there or thereabouts too, uh, risking some really, really good ponies there. But it is what it is. Yeah, no secret for me if you are a religious listener of the podcast without a fight been on for for months since his runs in the Brisbane Winter Carnival was stoked with his first up run uh, there's been subsequent winners out of the race with alligator blood last weekend and attrition as well stokes that he drew barrier seven Mark Zara to hopefully get him about midfield clean air 300 meters to go and they just hit the go button and hopefully he just blows them away gold trip Simply sensational in the Turnbull. Uh, I just don't think weight really bothers the horse. And I think he can go out here and do... He could easily win this. Um, Good track is a little bit of a concern, but he's just absolutely sensational. Valiant King, as you outlined, that Desert Hero and Vauban form is just absolutely delicious. That's what makes me feel so weird inside. Nutritious. Yeah. Scrumptious. Yeah. Uh, and West Wind Blows is the horse that has drawn really nicely down low. Potentially the fence might be off by this time of the day. It'll be about the 27th, 28th race of the carnival in a week. So are those ones that have drawn middle to outside going to be better favoured? I'm hoping because I really want without a fight to win. Man, I can't wait. It's yeah, It's going to be a terrific betting race. And phew, good luck picking the winner. Agreed.